Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Kruger and once again I am back with my co-host Darren BNHD. Always here. You are always here. Always here. Always in my studio. And once again we are back with another episode of KSP Kerbal Space Program Enhanced Edition. Today we had a mission that we accepted on the last episode which was build a satellite and launch it around Kerbal. Today we are building that satellite and it is going to be a five part satellite. Easy. Easy peasy. Five a day. Five a day? Keeps the doctor away. Exactly. So they here say. we go. So they say. So they say. Apparently so. So what we're gonna do straight back into our normal game as we always do. And we're gonna build stage one and stage two now, but we're only gonna launch stage one. On the next episode, we will then launch stage two, which will, or it won't be next episode, it will still be episode 11, part three, that we launch stage two. Because this is obviously going to be broken down into many different parts for this. This is a big job. It is a very big job. So, what we are going to do is quickly make sure that we still have our mission. So, build a new orbital station around Kerbal. Kerbin. Kerbin. You are correct, Kevin. So there we go. We've actually got our MUN outpost, the platinum flag on the MUN, position satellite in equatorial orbit of MUN and explore Minmus. Equatorial orbit must be quite hard. Yes, because you're obviously... It's going to be centre on the equator. Yeah. So that's going to be a, a fun one. Zero degrees, inclination, and then that's our apparatus and periapus for that one. But we are going straight for this one. But, as you can read, Put your station into orbital carbon. Build a station that has an antenna, has a docking port, and can generate power. Has facility to support at least five kerbals. So we can send along so we don't like that to live. Yes. Forever. And maintain stability for 10 seconds. Unfortunately, we haven't got uh, Valentino anymore. So straight away, we'll go into the VAB and we shall create our first stage of the satellite so straight away command pods what am i doing here we go we are gonna go for the ppd 12 cupola module it only, like that one. it only has one seat in it but we're gonna take it so that's that but we're not gonna send any kerbals in there you would have thought with the size of that compared to the size of those kerbals they could fit more than one in yes you would you would hope so I'm just going to quickly read these. So that has prograde and retrograde, and this has just SAS. So we're going to go for this one because it's got the pro and the retro. And we're going to set that to the top. And that is going to be the driving seat. That's what's going to drive the spacecraft. So we need an antenna. Oh, whoa. I like to have this one. We're getting all the channels on that. <laughs> that is sky, TV, in space. Other TV broadcasters are available. Yeah, Virgin Media. Big shout out to BT. BT. <laughs> so this one here is our PPD-10 hitchhiker storage, which contains four. So that is our five crew. Oh, there we go. Right then and there, all five, all done. The next thing we are going to need, we don't need any parachutes on this because it's not ever going to return. Never. Never, ever. Never, ever, That's ever. a shame. We should put one up there one day. Leave it for like 500 years. Then bring it down. Not 500 real years. No, no, that's just insane. You'll be long gone, I'll still be here, but I don't <laughs> oh, play thanks. the game. But. Thanks, mate. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to do something a little bit different. Obviously, you can see that I've just grabbed a fuel tank, but what I'm going to do with this fuel tank is I'm going to completely empty it of all its fuel. And that is basically going to be a compartment. And what I am going to do is on the bottom of this fuel tank is the Clampertron docking port. So let's flip that around. And that's going to go onto there. That's one docking port. That's what it asked for, wasn't it? Yeah. But we obviously are going Antenna, to use this. docking port can generate power, five kerbals, and goes around. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to be using this for different resources. I've been explaining to DB that we are going to use this to be a refueling station as well as just a satellite in space 
just trying to make sure this is aligned correctly because I don't want it to be off. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to rotate this if I can remember how to do it correctly. But it's not even in a central line, so I need to actually change that back over to there. Yep, that's better. So this one here, let's rotate. That antenna's going to be safe there, right? Yeah. So that there, I'm going to move it in, so it's in the center line, and I'm going to move it down. And that is part one, I need to empty that out as well. So they can walk around in these? They can walk around, yeah, there's no Incredible. fuel whatsoever. I'm going to do another one on this side, so if you can get this one aligned as well. That looks uh, round about right. Back onto the rotate tool. Flip that over. So this be like a bit of say walk through and stuff. Yeah, basically. Awesome. And make sure this is in the center, and once again, in the center. That is a little bit too high actually, so we're going to move it down just a just a smidge. There we go. That's perfect. And then we're going to have four docking ports on that. Uh, where are they? So we're going to have one here. As you can see, it doesn't actually like where this placement is. So what we're having to do is by eye. So if you can get it right, that looks about perfect. Another one. Oh, very confusing, isn't it? It is very. One there. There. I mean, ugh, in all honesty, I should have stuck on um, by two on here. Symmetry. But I forgot. What I do want to do though is move these out a tiny bit. Just one of each. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. I didn't have enough place to. Back up here. One of each. Bring it back out. Done. That one there. Done. Boom. Down there, done, and this one down here. There we go. It just means that it's going to be easier for when we actually come to dog stuff, they actually grab hold. If we had more science points, we could have learned the better equipment, but we don't. So that is satellite. Our first part of the satellite. Stage we just need one. to add some ability to be able to generate power. So we're going to go for these, and we go for symmetry. Four. Bit of solar. Bit of solar power. Because like the it. sun's in space, so why wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. That looks pretty decent around there. I'm happy with that. It looks like the business, doesn't it? It does. I'm just going to move it in a tiny bit. Oh, that's on one. There we go. And that one. No, it doesn't look like it wants to move in unless I take it off for the snap, but I don't want to do that. That's fine. I like how it looks. I'm a fan. He's a fan. We have one fan. We have more than one fan. I'm just exaggerating. Obviously, we're going to need some I'm mono. Exaggerating. Yeah. Monopropellant fuel. And this is for our RCS thrusters. We are going to need those to be able to dock correctly in case we uh, run out on the others. And what I have found out is when you're doing the RCS, you basically want where the center of mass is them to be equal distance between the center of mass. So that's one there, and I'm guessing mm -hmm. about there. The only thing is that's blocking the ladder. Hopefully it's not blocking the ladder. It's not blocking the crew hatch, which is fine. They need to get out. Well, no, they can just get on into there. They don't need to climb up into that top pod. That's fine. But that's it. That is part one. Obviously, the next stage is going to be building the rocket to take this up. That's where I come in. It's not. <laughs> it, it really isn't. I'm just going to add this up here. A bit of extra stability for when we're up in space. But I, I'm pretty sure that is everything we needed to do. Um, antenna, docking port, generic power, yep. Five kerbals, yep, and obviously we'll do the rest once we're in space. So, for this, we need to grab the top, we're going to move it all the way up, 
and we're Darren pointed something out when we were on this option. You wouldn't have been able to see it, but he wanted to know what something was. The orange rocket. The orange fuel tank. Because that's the one you always see when you were a kid. Yes. You know, NASA with the big orange one with the space boat on the side of it. That is the one. You always saw it as a kid. Yeah. I just forgot that we need to build the fairing. In fact, it was probably the one that I saw go up when I was in Florida when I was a kid. More than likely. That was really cool. So as you can see, I'm just building the fairing to keep everything that's inside here safe for when we do make our trip to space. And there we go. That's the fairing. Everything is enclosed in there. <laughs> Don't even. It's so cool though that you can do this. Yeah. Game is insane. It's ridiculous. So for this, we're going to want the uh, poodle. Yep, the poodle liquid fuel engine. That one on there. Back onto the Rocco Max uh, adapter. And then, as Darren Riley so said, the orange fuel tank. We have one of those. That didn't even attach. Oh, I'm sorry. And we're going to have the main sail engine. If you do that one there. But it isn't going to be enough fuel, enough for us to get us off the ground and get us into space on a decent amount of fuel. So we're going to have to go for our good old. Okay, here we go. This is the business end of stuff. This is. We're going to put some of the couplers on. Radio of eight, thumpers, <laughs> we're good to go. We're not doing a radio of eight and thumpers and good to go. Fine hammers. We're not doing hammers either. We're doing what we did before. I'm sorry, this is. It's been a while since we uh, picked up KSP and I'm trying to get it all nice and lined. Yeah, we've been a bit lackluster with it, haven't we? We have indeed. But that's obviously, we do have lives. I'm not saying that KSP is a, a drain on a life force. Yes, yes. I have a life. I have a life. We both have lives. Do I want the swivel or do I want. I'm just trying to see how much it actually drains per second. 7.5, 6.1. This one, we want the swivel because of the gimbal. These to use when we're in space. No, these are to use to get us into space. You reckon it's going to be powerful enough to get us up there? I do believe so, indeed. Aerodynamics, we're going to have some of these. And we're just going to use the winglets. Go radio 4. Like a glove. Let's just make sure that it all looks right. Yeah, that's pretty swish. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I'm happy with that. Now, before we move on. It's so top heavy. Oh, trust me, it won't be. I just want to grab that part there, bring it all the way back down to the bottom. Make sure that everything's out, that's perfect. Structural again. This one down here. Yes. I know you like these. It just looks so cool, doesn't it? Just as the structural support. That's like that. Perfect. One thing I need to do. So we're going to have all of this fuel going through. It's going to go back into the main tank. It's the same as what we did with the asparagus station or asparagus station or the first aubergine station. The we aubergine. So that's that. I'm just going to add some, some small struts, a little bit of stability. Just to keep it all safe, keep it yep. all solid. So that one's there, and we're going to have one more. It's going to go from there to there. Lovely. Happy with that? I am happy with that. Now, we're going to press X. We are going to go over to our sub assemblies, and in here, we are going to drop everything from the docking port down because what that means is if we put all of this into here we can name this um, I want to call it a medium lift rocket medium MLR MLR we're getting technical here over at uh, Space Command <laughs> medium lift 
rocket. And what that means is when we come to launch the second, third, fourth, and fifth stages, you can use that as a template. It just goes straight in there. All we've got to do is build the yeah, actual parts. That's it. Same. That almost sounds professional. Medium lift rocket. Almost. And then our medium lift rocket is all the way over here, so we need to pick it back up and plonk it. Just now. That didn't sound professional, plonk it. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see behind the scenes at NASA when they plonk stuff around. It would be. But we now need to sort out our staging. One, two, mainsail, bearing, decoupler. We are good to go. And this is going to be titled In Honor of Our First Fallen. <laughs> you had a typo with the KKK. <laughs> I am very, very sorry that was a typo. Obviously, I was going for. He goes too fast jet. for the controller. I do, I do indeed. So, we are naming this vessel the Jeb. The Jeb. The Jeb. After he, the great on a lot of Kerbal Jebediah Kerbal. pages that we're on on social media all seem to love Jebediah. They do, they do indeed. And this is in memory of our Jebediah. And we killed him. Because so. we killed us, and we're sorry. You killed him. I didn't. You did. No, I did. No, you did. Who killed him? Oh, we would have to have a look at the uh, previous episodes and find out who killed him. <laughs> I honestly can't remember. It was long, long ago. Was it the jetpack incident? It was indeed. So we're going to save that. I told you to do it. But you it was. It. it was. Yes, it was the jetpack. It was indeed the jetpack. Picking up the wrong coffee cup. Smashing the other coffee cup. Here we go. This looks pretty... Pretty straightforward. Wait, hang on. Obviously, we know that you come on and, and do little bits of science here and there to help us out and stuff. Yep. But um, who the hell is Rich Pond Kerman? Well, he's the pilot, but he's not meant to be in there. Because <laughs> we have the um, Probodobodyne. Yeah, yeah why, why is Rich Pond in there? Well, do you want me to take him out or do you want me to leave him in there? What I would rather you do. Is maybe when you get to about 10,000, just release him. But we've got the fairing, and the fairing needs to stay on until we get in space. Would he be stuck inside the fairing? He would be. In, but even better, do it. I don't know if I. He could go EVA, but then I wouldn't have control of the rocket. We'll send him EVA in space, and we can okay. eventually go and rescue him one day. Okay, so we're going to send. <laughs> when everyone's forgotten about Rich Pond, we'll just bring him back in an episode. Yep. And everyone will be like, whoa, who are Rich Pond, who? Okay, well. That is it for part one. And that is how we're going to do our staging. Obviously, this is going to be the main space station core. We're going to send up more rockets afterwards with the antennas, uh, a fuel in station, uh, crew cabins, crew quarters, some science. And the crew. And the crew. And we're going to leave one space open. So when we send up some SSTOs, they can dock. But until the next episode, guys, or part two of episode 11, you take it easy. I've been Kruger. That's been Darren BHD. Always is. Always will be. Bye bye for now.